Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Monday the 11th of June. As every day I take an example from one of our stock signal services at Wave5Trade.com and put it together and put the entry and examples together. So very briefly, members area, our members get potential long and short fifth wave trades every single day on the weekly, daily and 60 minute time frame. We also give them stochastic, potential stochastic long trades and short trades on intraday timeframes. Today I've chosen long trades. So in the members area, we click on the long fifth wave trades and you can see for the 11th of June, you'd simply click on the image here uh, to download the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet today looks something like this. This is the daily time frame. We also have it for the weekly and the 60 minutes. So these are potential long fifth wave moves, the highest probability move in a trend, in a in the Elliott wave sequence, the fifth wave. So we are looking at the daily time frame today and I've chosen one of these, Now Inc, D-N-O-W, as an example. I'm going to set it upon a chart and put the signal together. So first of all, this is the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Ninja Trader version from Wave5Trade.com. We also produce it for Thinkorswim, TradeStation and Multicharts. For those users that have the Indicator Suite, very, very briefly, I've gone to the lows here around about the, let me look at the date here, around about the 9th of February there. So 9th of February. We almost got a double bottom then. You can see it's very corrective, ABC corrections, and then we get that first impulse leg out. So our automated Elliott Wave count starts, then gives it the one, the two, the three, and the four. And that's where we are right now. We're going to trade the pullback. So let's just have a closer look. Zoom in. So first of all, just to remind those new people and for our members, the basic filters on our Stock sing Signals membership are, at the bottom here we can see the Stochastic. The Stochastic pulled back against our false breakout uh, dots here. These false breakouts denote a really strong bullish trend. Now the Stochastic pulled back against that and crossed over in the oversold zone. So it, there's all likelihood it's going to like an elastic band. It wants to return to that overall bullish trend. Our 535, the next sub chart here, part of our indicator suite, has pulled back between 19 and 140% during this wave four pullback. And finally, on the data filters, we have this wave four pullback into our automated probability zones. As you can see here, we found some really good support on this wave four in our amber zone. Now, the amber zone represents an 80% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zones up here in blue around about $16.20. So very, very simple to set this up now. We, we have our 6-4 moving average high in green here, which is part of our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. And we use that as a starting point for potential entries here. But also, I've gone a little bit more conservative on this entry. I wanted to get above the lows of here and here. So this was a support and resistance level. I mean, to be honest, we've got a great risk reward. You could even go to 1450. But I've chosen 1446 from my entry for long for Monday, the 11th of June. We're above the high of Friday, big range on Friday, uh, above the 6-4 moving average high for Monday's bar position and above the lows of these this support level here. So 14.46, 14.47, good entry to go long on DNOW. The stop loss is around about 13.55, a couple of cents below the wave for low here. And then as you can see the risk to reward is 1 to 2 or 1 to 1 1.8 into the middle of that target zone there. Great risk to reward, very simple setup, looking for these wave four pullbacks and then trading that high probability fifth wave move there. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.